Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we'll be doing this kind of wire basket inside Katia V5 and uh, you can do it in a number of different ways you using maybe wireframe or uh, shape design but uh, we'll utilize today the part design from Katia and quickly model this inside the workbench. Alright, so let's start with the design. I'll close it. I can go for new document go for a new part press ok to confirm you can name the part as wire basket all right so for now i will start with the basic sketches okay so the very first sketch that we can do is let's on the xy plane go to sketch we'll take a center rectangle for simplicity and draw a rectangle like this can go for dimension so let's say this one and this one let's say this is 8 inches and this is 4 inches from here I can exit the sketch and go for a pad mm, therefore the pad I will use 4 inches preview that's the basic shape for our basket now also I will utilize the draft command to give a draft to my four side faces and for the neutral face I will select the base and let's say angle 8 degrees there we have a nice uh, draft for the model Alright, after that we can go for some basic fillets. So I'll start fillets, select the four corner like this and let's say go for 0.75 inches. That's fine. We can also fillet the base. So select the fillet, select the base edge and maybe this time go for half of 0.75 and yeah that looks fine so once we have our basic shape of our basket we'll utilize all these uh, edges and faces to create the basket all right so for that i will insert a new body okay and we let's say we can rename this to uh, in the properties i can rename this to uh, base shape okay so this is the base shape that we have done and using the base shape will create the our uh, basket right so make sure you're in body 2 and from here I can let's say go for YZ plane go to sketch and all I will do is select all the edges and simply project it and when we exit the sketch you will see a nice projection of your edge and we can utilize this sketch as the curve for our uh, wire and to do that I have to give a profile so I'll start with a plane on this point okay offset from plane maybe select this one and then select this point okay now I'll select the new plane go for a sketch and this time I will take a circle draw a circle give it a dimension of 0.125 okay and then all I will do is select the center of the circle and that center point and go for a coincidence from there you can exit and then we can utilize the rip command we have already selected the circle all we have to do is select the center curve so let's say this is my center curve and let's say if I hide my base shape now you'll see the var of the basket Alright, I'll show it once more. 
now from here we can utilize the simple rectangular pattern to pattern it so I will select expand body to select rib go for rectangular pattern and I will go for instances and length let's say I'll go for four instances and length maybe 3.303 direction I might say this one preview okay now I'll repeat it one more time for this direction so I will select rib one again go for pattern all the values will be the same just have to specify the reference direction and reverse it okay all right now if I hide my base shape you can see the rib uh, wireframe for the basket all right and that's pretty decent after that what we can do is we'll go for another sketch so let's say I'll select this face go for sketch and all I will do now is select the face go for projection so I have a projection of all these edges. Now I'll do one more plane definition. Maybe any of the points. Press OK. Select the plane. Go for sketching. And this time, what I can do is I can go for another circle definition. And let's say we'll go for zero point. 0 0.2 dia and select the center point of the circle and the point where we created our plane make it coincidence and exit the sketch and go for a rib select your curve press ok now if I hide my base shape you can see already the structure is coming into shape all right now we can do is we can go for another sketch so let's say this time we will utilize this face and go for sketching and All I can do now is let's say zoom in a bit and I will utilize this face for the sketch. So let's say I'll select a profile and draw a basic shape like this. Okay. And then give you a corner from here to here. Let's say 0 0.7. And same thing to these two edges 0 0.7 all right now all we have to do is select this one select this one coincidence select this one select this one coincidence and select this and this and go for coincidence Alright, we have almost fixed it, but it looks a bit weird. So to fix it, I will utilize Project Intersect 3D Elements. And let's say I'll, or else I can go for normal projection and project this one. Okay. And then let's say I will select this point and the projection and let's say go for a coincidence and do the same thing for this one as well. Coincidence. I think my sketch is fully defined. I can exit and I will do the same plane definition. Select a point. Select the sketch, go for plane definition, select your point 
OK. And then we can select the new plane, go for a sketch and draw the circle. So the circle dimension this time will be, I think, 1 to 5 divided by 2. OK. And then select the point and select this point go for a coincidence to cancel that okay i have to use this point and now go for a select the center point of the circle and the center point of the plane go for a coincidence exit the sketch and go for a rib select your profile ok now if I hide my base shape you'll see the wire ok I think it's too small so what I can do is I can make it I can change the diameter let's say we'll make it 0 0.125 only then exit now that looks fine okay and after that let's show the base shape and what we can do is we can mirror it to the other side so i'll select rib 3 go for mirror and select the yz plane it's okay and we have it on the other side as well so the basket is almost complete all I have to do is design the hook and for that let's go for another sketch and this time utilize this face go for sketching okay and let's start with a circle so i'll select a circle draw a circle we can give that a dimension of maybe one inches then take a rectangle maybe center rectangle and draw a rectangle like that okay and then give it maybe a width of 0.4 okay now since it is not symmetric so I will place an axis from the center of the circle like that and select both the edges and the axis go for symmetry okay and I can also define from the center to this edge 1 inches alright now I will go for project 3d intersect 3d elements and select this axis and select it and make it into construction after that I can select this and this and go for a coincidence and also I can say the center from this corner horizontal measure should be 3 and then I can use the trim command to trim the unwanted lines all right also we can go for a corner between these two 0 0.2 let's trim the inside first okay now we can go for a corner from here to here make sure it is not in construction so 0 0.2 
if it's in construction select it and uncheck the construction do that for the other side as well 0 0.2 and then you can exit the sketch now we have the sketch all we have to do is define the plane no problem select the point ok select the plane go for a sketch and define the circle so I'll draw a circle give it a dimension of 0 0.2 and then select the center point and maybe this point and go for a coincidence and exit the sketch go for a rib select the profile ok we have our hook now all we have to do is select it and then we can mirror it to the other side maybe using the yz plane ok now if we hide our base shape we have a basket ready for and uh, this type of uh, design you can only use to create a concept like right? so we cannot use uh, this method to uh, make it for manufacturing because uh, there is a base shape inside it all right so if you are doing conceptual design and stuff like that maybe uh, creating some new ideas you can utilize this this method so where you can have a base shape and using the base shape you can create a new object all right now if let's see if we can give a fillet so I don't think we can give a fillet so let's keep it like that no problem So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. You can also, let's say, apply material. Or let's say we can go for plastic or miscellaneous metal, satin, apply, okay. That's how your wire basket looks pretty decent all right so yeah that's one of the ways to utilize your basic shape and then create a model around it all right uh, if you have any doubts with this tutorial feel free to comment down below and subscribe if you are watching this we'll see you in the next tutorial peace out